please refer to your Furion programming card that will come with all Furion MOSFETs. Please make sure that the airsoft gun is made safe. Make sure that there's no magazines left in the airsoft gun and that there are no BBs left in the hop unit or barrel. You will start with your selector on safe. Please plug in your battery. You will hear a chime. From here, you will toggle between semi and auto two times quickly. You are now in programming mode. From this position, each trigger pull will determine the programming mode you want to program. One beep is the auto firing modes. Two beeps is the semi firing modes. Three beeps is trigger sensitivity. Four beeps is pre-cocking. Five beeps is active break. So every time we pull the trigger, it will determine what programming mode we enter. So right now it is in the default auto positions. So if I pull the trigger one time, it will now beep twice, which will mean I'm in semi. If I pull it again, it will be trigger sensitivity. Another trigger pull will be four beeps, which is pre-cocking. Another trigger pull will be active break. So let's focus on the first firing mode, which is auto firing mode. We will focus on the first firing position, which is the auto firing mode. So when the trigger is pulled, we will need to hear one beep. That's where we are. We will flip to auto. That beep means now we are in programming mode for auto. So one beep will mean it will be only semi. Two beeps is two round bursts. Three beeps is three round bursts. Four beeps is four round bursts. Five beeps is five round burst. And six beeps means full auto. So I want to program my full auto to semi only. So I will press once. I will hear one beep, which means it's semi. I will hold my trigger for three seconds. That beep now means that is programmed. I'll flip back to safe and I'll go into full auto. And now my full auto is now semi. So now let's try the semi modes. So again, I flip the selector to semi and I toggle between semi and auto two times quickly. So if I pull the trigger, that two beeps means that I'm in semi firing mode. I'll flip the switch, selector to auto, and now I'm in it. So that two beeps means that it is now in binary mode. If I pull the trigger one more time, three beeps is aug mode, four beeps is sniper mode, and one beep is semi. So I would like to program my semi into binary. So I press the trigger one more time, and that two beeps means that it is binary. So I hold my trigger down for three seconds. Those two beeps means that it is now programmed to binary. So I'll flip the gun to safe and back to semi, and now I should have binary. We will now look at the trigger sensitivity programming modes. There are five to choose from. 20%, 40%, 60%, 80%, 100%. 100%. I will explain the difference between these five different settings. So 100% trigger pull means pulling the trigger all the way back. The full length of the trigger travel is 100%. 20% is only 20% pull of the trigger will fire the gun. I will show you these differences now. So to enter the trigger sensitivity programming mode, we again toggle the gun to semi and flip between semi and auto two times quickly. We will wait for three beeps to know that we're in trigger sensitivity. So I pull the trigger, that's two beeps, one more time, 
Now we're in trigger sensitivity. I will flip it to auto. So right now it is in five beeps, which is the full trigger pull. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll go back to semi, back to safe. This means I did not program anything. I'll go back to semi, that's the full trigger pull. So if I pull it 20%, 40%, 60% it won't fire, 80% it won't fire, all the way to the back it will not fire. That is 100% trigger pull. Okay, now we will go back to safe and I'll show you what 20% trigger pull looks like. So to go back into our programming mode, we flip to semi and toggle two times quickly between auto and semi. Pull the trigger one more time, one more time, that three beeps means we are in trigger sensitivity. I will flip it now to auto. So those five beeps means we are at 100%. If I pull the trigger one more time, that one beep means that we're at 20%. So let's program it here. Hold the trigger down for three seconds. Those two beeps means we are now at 20% trigger sensitivity. I'll flip the gun back to safe and back to semi and I'll show you the difference. So right here, 20% pull, it now fires. That's full 100% all the way to the back here, but now it fires at just 20% pull. We will now look at programming pre-cocking. There are five levels for pre-cocking. I do suggest that if you're not familiar with pre-cocking, that you allow an experienced tech to do this for you. It comes preset at level one, and I suggest that you leave it there unless you know what you are doing. So if we want to enter the programming mode for pre-cocking, again, we flip the gun to semi and then toggle between semi and auto two times quickly. Pull the trigger until I hear four beeps. We are not pre-cocking. I flip the gun to auto. So that one beeps, means level one, that's level one pre-cocking. Okay, say I want to pre-cock three levels, I pull the trigger until I hear three beeps. If I want that, I hold it down now for three seconds. It is now programmed to level three. I will go back to safe and go back to semi and you will hear what level three pre-cocking sounds like. Very snappy. If you want to do other levels, level one, level two, level three, level four, or level five, just repeat the steps that you've seen a second ago. We will now look at the final programming position, which is active braking. There are two levels for active braking, on or off. It comes default with active braking on. So I will show you the difference between on and off. To enter in the programming mode, again, you make sure the gun is on safe, you flip the selector to semi, and you toggle between semi and auto two times quickly. Pull the trigger till you hear five beeps. Then you flip it to auto. So right now, that one beep you're hearing means that is on. If I pull the trigger, you will hear two beeps. That means active braking is off. I suggest you leave active braking on. So I will hold the trigger. That confirms that active braking is on. Flip the gun to safe to confirm your changes. Okay, now I'll show you how quickly you can program this once you get used to the trigger pulls. So if someone says, I want to make my trigger sensitivity 60% and I want my semi firing mode to be binary, I will set it up and show you exactly how to do that quickly. So the first thing I will do is set up the semi firing mode to binary. So what I will do, make sure the gun's on safe. You flip the semi, pull the trigger, Two beeps, flip to auto, 
One beat means semi, I want binary. That's binary, hold the trigger for three seconds. I now have binary. Flip the gun to safe. I go back to semi, one, two, one, two. And now I want 60%, so. I'm now in trigger sensitivity, I flip to auto. Right now it's at 20%, pull the trigger, 40%, 60%, hold the trigger down. It's now programmed to 60%. Flip back to safe, if I go to semi now, I have binary with a 60% trigger pull. It's as easy as that. I hope you all enjoy your new Furion MOSFETs.